My name is Sherlyn, and I am one of the many, many graduates in the world saved and rescued by the Sisters of Mary from a life of uncertainty and poverty. My family lived in one of the poorest towns in the Philippines, where the sisters found me one day in one of their recruitment efforts. My parents were farmers. My brothers and sisters would help them every day in the farm, and so they were not able to go to school. So as a little child, I dreamed of a better life for myself and for my family. So I would do well in school, and hopefully I could graduate elementary and hopefully go on to high school. And then my mother passed away when I was about to graduate in elementary, so all of those dreams that I had were shattered to pieces and I had no way out. And here comes the sisters of Mary and they were giving exams and interviews in our poor little town for their live-in school. I was desperate to go out of that little town because I knew that if I stayed there, I would end up like the little girls of my age, marrying at a very young age and having many children and struggle through life. And so I will always be grateful to God for, for the day that the sisters accepted me to study at Girlstown. When I came there, I saw the big buildings and I knew that I would be safe. I was there living with all the kids from all over the Philippines and just before I celebrate my first Christmas with the sisters and with other kids, I was called by the sisters to go to the school office and I knew something was wrong. They told me that I had to go home because my father passed away. And so, I was orphaned at 13 years old, feeling alone, and then I went back to the Sisters of Mary, and my mother's sister, that's what we call the sisters who are taking care of us, we call them mother's sister, and she was joyfully waiting for us, for me, to return with that joyful smile and a big hug, and everything will be okay, and you will be okay, we'll take care of you. And so, the sisters became my family. The sisters of Mary became my family. The moral formation, the spiritual formation, and the academic formation that I received from them without them asking for anything in return for me became my tools that helped me when I go out of the Sisters of Mary. And then with their help, I was able to gain a college scholarship. I got a degree in computer science and got several job opportunities after I graduate, but I have made a promise to God and to myself that if given that opportunity, in gratitude for everything that the sisters have done for me, I would go and offer myself to work for them. And I've been with the sisters for the, for the past 17 years, and each day really, it's like a new day for me, because I know that I'm part of something greater than myself, something that is changing lives. It's what inspires me and drives me every day to do my best in whatever I do for them. They have assigned me to do different jobs over the years, from office works to teaching to translation jobs, because working for them had given me the chance to learn several languages. Had I not been accepted as a little girl to the Sisters of Mary, my life would have been very different. This work will never be possible without the people that are continued to helping maintain the, the, the work and their mission. People who believe that this world can be a better place if we only educate today's youth in the way of God and heal their wounds. And people who believe that each child, each poor child has a dignity as a child of God and deserve the, the best education that Father Al and the Sisters of Mary are giving them. If there's any good in the person that I am now, I am attributing all of that to the prayers and sacrifices and teachings of the Sisters and Father Al.